Hello. Okay, so as you guys know that I'm actually using this brand Mina Bay as uh, my diaper bag uh, whenever I go out with my girl. Um, yeah, so I recently I actually got a request with regards to how the Mina Bay actually looks like in terms of the organization and in terms of how I pack it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, basically, I have two sizes. Um, the one that you are seeing here is actually the mini size Emmy Mina Bay bag. Uh, and this is in Mojave color. And the other one that I have is actually a black gold, um, black gold full size Mina Bay um, bag. And both are in nylon material. So this is the black one. As you can see. So the black one is currently empty. There's nothing inside. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's let, let me just show you the the organization for the mini size one. So basically, in terms of the uh, in terms of the the pockets that they have, it's exactly the same. It's just that it's a scaled down version because it is mini, and the other one is actually a full size. Uh, but in terms of the pockets and everything, uh, that that comes with it is actually exactly the same. So there's actually two sides pockets one on the left and one on the right and then there's a metal uh metal clap uh metal caps pocket at the front uh okay and then moving on to the back it's actually empty there's only three metal rings here where you can actually convert this back into a backpack basically so the back comes with um the mat the the backpack strap where you can actually just clip it on and convert this bag into a backpack so basically because this bag is actually a mini size version and i do like carrying it as a shoulder bag basically so in comparison to the mini and the full size um i don't carry the backpack strap because usually it's just me carrying and usually it's just me going out with my girl so i don't carry the backpack strap with me but for the full size version i do carry the backpack straps with me all the time um then that because that's when my husband can actually convert it to a backpack and he can carry it that way as he prefers carrying it as a backpack style okay so going into the side pockets first okay so the side pocket is actually quite uh, spacious enough and deep enough to actually fit um a two large phone sizes like so the one i have it now is actually the iphone 7 plus um i also have an iphone 13 pro max which actually can fit in quite um snugly inside um the fitting can actually fit in two phones um so yeah most of the time whenever i'm not using her phone and my phone i can actually put in together but for now because i already have her phone available so i just slot in her phone to show um yeah so usually i carry so this is where i put in her phone she her phone is actually the iphone 7 plus so i actually use this phone as her white noise machine um and occasionally whenever after we finish eating um or rather she's done eating then i'll just turn on elmo for her to watch okay and then the other side the other side is where i should just keep like her tissues her wet wipes and antibacterial wipes easy access so as you can see right here it's actually quite deep and quite wide enough to fit two phones okay then uh, on this metal ring i just hang um a hand sanitizer that i got from buff and whatever then moving to the front uh here this is actually so the one i mentioned just now this is actually the metal uh, the magnetic claps pocket um here i have the maxi wallet and her headband yep. and her headband that's it so in uh, for me to just illustrate right uh in terms of the deepness of the pocket so here you are this is really fully uh to the maximum of the pocket and you can still see that the phone is actually peeping through the pocket and you can't close it all the way uh, again this is just personal fair preference i don't like my phone peeping through this way um but in the full size version i do slot in my mobile phone here which I'll, I'll show you the difference in terms of the peeping of the phone here and i think in comparison to 7 plus and 13 pro max it's not that much of a difference it's just a little bit higher that's it so i do have a wallet right so my wallet is not very thick it's actually quite small size in comparison to a card holder 
So let me just try and slot it in. Uh, okay, give me my hand. Okay, so if I slot it in, this is the maximum that can be slotted in. Uh, you can still see the wallet peeping through that hole. I mean, it's not coming out, but it's still peeping through. I can't, the magnet can't really close all the way in. Um, but yeah, again, personal preference, I don't really like it. But as a card holder, you can easily just slot it in. You can slot it in horizontally, vertically. Um, you can still access it, basically. Uh, and one more thing that you don't see here, right, is usually where I hang my pacifier. So this pacifier bag um, transfers whenever I change my bags. Um, I do carry a pacifier bag for me to keep a pacifier. I think this bag can actually fit up to two pacifiers, but I just typically just keep one. Because uh, most of the time, I also have her pacifier clip with, with it along. So I'll just keep it here. As what as what you can actually see in my previous photos of the bag. Yeah. So just clip it here. This pacifier bag is actually from Miss Fong. Uh it's not from Mina B. Um yeah. Okay, then moving on to the bag. The bag is actually so just now as I showed you, okay, the bag doesn't have any pockets, no slot in or anything. It's just a three metal rings for you to convert it into a backpack. Okay. So let's go into it. So as you can see, my bag is actually packed to its maximum capacity. I am really not the lightest packer. Um, but yeah, I I think I, I really did well for a small size uh, bag. And it's really just to uh, pack all the, the necessity for me as I go out with my daughter for a few hours basically. So looking into the organization on the back and side, Okay, so at the top here, uh, I actually have a small wet bag which I store anti-slip socks. Uh, this this wet bag is actually by this mom. Uh, it's actually a local brand. Uh, so yeah, I carry I carry inside this bag. I actually carry just anti-slip socks because I do go in the playground with my daughter quite frequently, basically. So this holds the uh, anti-slip socks for both myself and my daughter. Then I have a bib. Then looking into it, right, it's actually quite fully packed. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six elastic pockets in the back. Uh, so like I mentioned just now, uh, in terms of the organization, it's exactly the same as in the full size bag. So you you you, you have six pockets, so you have six elastic pockets in the full size as well. So it's just that I just keep my flask at the side so this flask is about what 400 and 400 ml you can fit it in and you can still zip it up nicely um, oh and i forget to mention so there's actually two zips right so you can actually uh zip both ends which is really nice like it's really convenient um having two zips whereby you can just zip up whichever direction that you you prefer so i have the flask in one one end of the bag and I have a bottle and another end of the bag. Um, okay, so I did try. So I'm actually using the Higan bottle. So this bottle is actually the 240 ml. Um, I did try to slot in. I think the other larger size is actually 320. I did try to slot in 320 with the, um, with the teeth part of the bottle, uh, the cover, and it's actually perf uh, it's actually f um able to fit and zip up perfectly in the bag as well. Um, in the mini size bag as well. So now that I've emptied the two sides, uh, okay. So in the center, I just carry her water bottle. So again, like I mentioned, I I only carry Higan bottles because I'm using Higan for her. I'm just reusing her old milk bottles and converting into her water bottle. So this one is the the round round cup thing where you can just drink anywhere. So this is a water bottle, and this is I use this as a snack cup. Again, both are just 150 ml. So, um, her water bottle, I think, took up a little bit more space because of the handles here. But that's that. Then, the, the front two pockets here. So, typically, I store... Uh, this is where I keep her milk. So, I because the bag is actually quite small size, I don't carry a milk container. I store her milk in milk bags. Um, so, there's actually milk powder bags. So, I actually carry milk powder bags instead. And I carry a pair of scissors. 
uh, basically just so that it's easy access for me to cut through the plastic and then have access to the milk um, whenever I need to. I mean, they do have the the peel, the tear off area at the bottom, but the surface, the the space is really quite small. It takes time for me to go and empty the bag for the milk powder, so I prefer just cutting it. Then the other elastic pocket I have is actually her bib um, for feeding. Then the snack. Uh, so I carry two additional snacks for her. So usually what I have in this pocket additionally is um, her spoon. Um, which currently is actually in her sterilizer. And then, okay. So this bag, this empty uh, elastic pocket is usually where I store her food pouch. Um... Yeah, so for me to feed her also. So basically what I just took out, right, is actually the metal ring uh, for you to hang your keys. So yeah, I can use this to hang your keys, but I currently don't hang my keys here because I actually have a key pouch of my own. Then the other, the other elastic pocket is where I store her diaper. So you can see I actually carry two diapers here. Um, so usually if I were to carry like three to four or even more diapers is is when I know that I'll be going out for a longer period of time and therefore I won't be using this bag. I'll be using the full size version um, to carry the things. So if it's two diapers means it's not too long that I'm going out so this bag is perfectly fine in terms of the things that I need to carry. So yeah, so I just carry two diapers here. Um, the small size wet wipes and diaper cream that's that okay so at the front here there's actually two uh two additional pockets two smaller pockets basically one is zip and then one just slot in so the zip pocket is where i typically carry my own trinkets like my lip balms my lipstick and my airport And then here currently is empty. Uh, let me just illustrate how deep those two pockets are. So let me just start in her distance so you can see how deep they are. So this is how deep it is in comparison to the front. There you go. Okay. And then the other side. Like this, so you can see. Okay. Then at the back of the bag, there's actually a large zip. So okay, here right. Uh, so here I carry a mosquito patch for her. I carry, I carry a long phone strap. Uh, for easy access, it is from Castify. Uh, this is just for easy access so that I can just um, strap on my phone, especially if I'm like carrying her, uh, carrying her in her carrier. So I can just use, uh, just slot this in. Then I can actually carry my, as in I can just hang my phone as well so that it's easy access um, rather than having to like dig through my bag for my phone. Then I carry, um, where is this thing? A pacifier clip, yeah. I, I carry an additional pacifier clip as well. Uh, basically, this is not to hang a pacifier, but this one is really just to hang. So, every time when I go out with her, I actually carry both the carrier and the stroller just in case she doesn't want to stay in the stroller. I have the carrier as an option, but um, I do carry her stroller every time I go out with her. Uh, so, basically, this pacifier clip is really just to hang her toy, uh, her stroller toy. Then, at the other end, I can just clip it to the stroller. So whenever she's done playing with her toy, um, it won't fall out of the stroller. So yeah, this is this is what it's for. Then I have this plastic. Um, I think this is the animal doggy poop bag. So yeah, I actually carry this along just in case I need to throw her diapers in the plastic, or you know all those um wet wipes that I previously might have used uh, while feeding her, etc. So I just throw it into this bag so it's easy for me to just collect all the rubbish and then throw it all uh, in one shot. I believe this actually comes with a, with a, a holder but I don't carry a holder with me because it's, 
it's it's quite space consuming. <laughs> yeah. Then I think that's enough. Okay. So I can actually carry a roller. Uh a coming roller. This roller is by MD Mamadi. Um so this one some sort of helps my girl to sleep. So I mean the sense is also quite coming. So yeah, I just carry this around in case she's fussing around. Um yeah, it's it's really quite useful this this rule. And I think that's it. That's it for yeah, that's it. Okay. So yes, my bag is empty except for the diapers here. So um so the the Vina B actually carries um stroller straps as well. Um for the stroller straps they actually sold it separately. I did get a stroller strap together as part of my black gold um full size purchase but um at the point when I was purchasing this uh, Mojave colour mini size um this colour stroller strap was actually out of stock so I couldn't get it. But to be honest, I don't think you really need that many stroller straps because for now the stroller straps is actually being um strapped onto the stroller. Like I don't I don't take it off from the stroller, so it's easy access. Um, whenever I whenever I'm using the stroller to, and I need to hang it, I can just hang it straight. So how the stroller strap is actually being hanged, right? You just strap it to this metal ring, the two metal rings at the sides, and that's it. Um, then it will actually hang up the back on the stroller itself and the stroller strap is actually uh, quite quite um, heavy duty in a sense whereby you can also withstand the weight of a uh, even on a full size um, back a full full size fully packed Mina B bag yeah so I think I hope that helps um, okay so just now I was, I was saying right uh, in comparison to the mini size and the full size so the full size is actually currently empty so it looks a little bit more slouch here so one thing why I like about this this Emmy bag is that if it's not full size it won't really look structured in the sense whereby uh, it don't look very fixed and and it doesn't have that structure look, which is kind of why I like the, these bags. Like if it's emptier, if it's not fully packed, then it has that slouchy look, making it look like hobo bag, which I do really like it. Yeah. So as you can see, that is empty, and yeah. So my full size is actually empty, um, and and like I said just now, all. In terms of the structure wise, they are exactly the same. In terms of the pockets and organizations, it's exactly the same. Two side pockets here, front metal clip pocket here. Okay, so as I was saying just now, I do keep my phone um, at the front. I don't have access to my 13 Pro Max phone right now, but this should do fine. Give me one. This is how it looks like. It will just peep a little bit. Or oh, not even. Yeah, see. See, you can't even see the phone. So it's easy. It's easier if you see the bag is filled up a little bit. But yeah, you can just slot in the phone and access it quite easily. So if I'm using the full size bag, I slot in my phone here. Then, uh, in terms of the insides, it's also exactly the same. It's exactly the same as by this. Uh, two. Okay. There's two sides pockets. There's two back plastic pockets and two in the front. There's one big zip at the back. And then you just switch it over. And then there's two front smaller pockets here, which is the same. Zip and slot in. Okay, so okay, so I was saying just now, right, that um, they they come with the backpack strap. So, in my full size bag, I do carry the backpack straps everywhere I go, and I actually store it in here the, the back zip. So, so this 
is how it looks like. The perfect strap. And see, I also carry another one here. I always carry it in case I need it. I need it. Yeah. So how you actually strap it, right? Is you take one end, one end of the strap, hook it here. And the other end, just hook it. And then the other strap, also the same thing, we hook it one end here. And the other end here. There you go. So this is how the backpack strap looks like. So yeah, my husband actually likes carrying this as a backpack. Uh, rather than a shoulder bag. But I always keep the shoulder bag strap on. Uh, because I like carrying as a shoulder bag. But of course, whenever um, I'm carrying her on my own and I'm carrying this bag um, and I'm, I'm using the carrier and I have to carry this, I usually carry as a backpack as well. Which is why I always carry the straps every time um, I'm using this bag. So yeah, it's actually quite nice as a backpack. So you get all like a horizontal diaper bag basically. So this is how it looks like in comparison to the mini size so yeah, even even the full size one right uh, oh wait she just clip on the pacifier back here that's it so my pacifier bag always changes from bags to bag along with the contents of it it's always transferable so yeah i hope this helps uh with your understanding of the different sizing and what is um basically the needs of you and your baby and your kids and the organization of this bag and i really love this bag i'm actually not sponsored i should purchase both of the bags on my own um, this bag is really truly a very good uh, diaper bag. I mean, I did have another one which is Miss Fong, which is also the, the, the same brand that I have as my diaper, uh, sorry, my pacifier bag. Um, but honestly, I prefer this Mina Bay bag because it really doesn't look like a diaper bag at all. And you can easily just convert this in the future when you no longer need a diaper bag. You can actually use this as your own bag and one of the reasons why i purchased the mini size one is really so that um it's more convenient for me to carry as my own bag in the future or rather even now because i actually carry my breast pumps everywhere i go um so this is my breast pump bag my pumping bag um has it it houses my pumps it houses my massaging needs if i need to uh, milk bags nipple things yeah stuff like that so yeah, so this bag can actually easily fit in of course if i'm not carrying all my daughter's stuff these things can actually fit in easily in the bag and that's it and i can still use all the other um, elastic pockets to fit in my essentials which is like my wallets my uh, my, my wallet my card holders my phones yeah so that's it i hope that helps Thanks for watching. Bye.